So I have rushed on ahead and I'm hoping this is going to be a really lucky day because I have just been pooed on the head by a bird and um, that's supposed to be really lucky <laughs> and it hasn't happened to me in years and I'm in quite a big space and yeah so fingers crossed that's a good omen of what's to come. full orange one. It's a very funky shape. Amazing. <laughs> Looks like a lid. Oh, yeah, a little lead lid with like a W or an M. I can't tell what this is made out of. It's not plastic. It's not bone. Hmm. It might be glass. It might be part of some sort of jewellery. Looking for glass. Is that a little tile? Awesome. Perfect for some project ideas. It's that bottle hole. Oh, it is. It's a little bottle. It's just a plain old wood it's got in it. Something suspect. <laughs> Take it, see if we can clean it. What's this bottle hole? Got something on it. Uh, uh. Oh, is it syrup with eggs? Yes, <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple of things here. First of all, this tiny little screw top bottle. Which I think I'll take because we might have a lid for it and they're always very handy. And then I think that looks like a coin. Oh no. <sighs> well that's I mean it's an oddly shaped washer. Great for craft though. Oh it's a it's a nice bead. It could be UV. just a stone. Is it going to be painted though or is it just going to be plain marble? Ooh. Can't tell. It's beautiful though and it's definitely a shooter marble. Just a stone or something else. Hmm. I think it is a hem weight. I can see two holes in the bottom. Awesome. Tiny, tiny blue bead. That's for crafting. It's one of our favourite things to find. It's a spoon and it's complete. Oh, oh, it does have writing on it. Oh, it looks like it's got a specific make. Excellent. How exciting. Oh, I do, don't know why. I really do love cutlery, especially a spoon. And underneath it, you probably saw it, is that another hem weight? Or is it a coin? It's another hem weight. We actually should be able to, I mean, we should make a dress or a skirt and use the hem weights on it. That's a little lead token. I don't think it is. I think it's got something on it. Oh, to get Kate to look at that. 
another seal. I can't hold them all. No one says. I don't know if that says anything. Three seals. <laughs> it's a foot. <laughs> and it, that might be part of a face, I don't know. Is that what I think it is? I think it is, it's broken, but that's a flint one. I mean, like a clear flint one. Oh my gosh, that's a broken echinoid fossil. Right, this must be my lucky day. Pooed on by a bird and now found an echinoid fossil. Oh, I, must be, I must be about to find something amazing. Do we think that's plastic? Is it real? <laughs> I think it's plastic, unfortunately. It's still beautiful, though. It's quite a nice green flask bottle. Do we need a green flask? Quite nice. Maybe. Lens. I haven't found one of those in a while. Is that part of a lead toy? Or is it just something? Oh, it's got numbers on it. I think it's just part of some sort of machine. My goodness, it's another thing to add to the collection. <laughs> it's another piece of partial clay pipe with an acorn on. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love acorn pipes. <laughs> And I don't even mind that it's broken. <laughs> There's a metal thing, and on the other side, it looks like there might be something on it. Can you see him poking out? Obviously he's got no head, but I wonder how much body he has. Oh, all of it, just oh, missing a head. It's a little lead. Oh no, he's also missing an arm. Probably would, yeah, would have been a movable arm. Very cool though. Okay, so I'm playing the game today of is it a lead toy or is it part of some machinery? It looks like a trumpet. <laughs> is this a toy or part of machinery, Mum? Huh? Is this a toy or part of machinery? Oh, I don't know. It's and like also, a hand spout. oh, yes, Isn't it does. It? It's about. And then also, I found this, which is. Do you think it's bakelite or tortoise shell? Could be horn. Horn. And then that looks like just a lid, but it's got white around it. You see that shape? Oh, it's a piece of pottery, but beautiful. I just saw the rose. Oh, that's really nice. Lovely. Yeah, box. Thank you. That is really nice. Looks like a very large. An incredibly broken beetle. Oh, not that. Incredibly broken. Beautiful colour there. That flourish looks interesting. What is that? This is a bow. Might be a cockerel's back, bird or something. I'm not sure what that is. It's interesting though. It's a broken round thing with an edge. Yes. And then, what's this? Oh, yes, that's got lots of writing on it. Hopefully we can clean that up and see if I can see anything. Another lead thing with writing all over it. Treasure Beach, all to ourselves. Another button? Button. It's a tiny 
button. Another button. Very similar to the one I just found. Buttons. Button day for me. Really worn bottle top. It says something. <laughs> Can't quite make out. Another bottle stop. That's just a spotty one. Oh, hey, yes! No way! Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's ages since we found one. <laughs> An eye. An eye. An eye like that other one. Yeah. A really worn glass bottle stop. Like a diamond, the diamond. Yeah. A cabbage on. I imagine it's not a diamond. It would be good if it was. It'd be quite big. <laughs> Jewels on Treasure Beach. A red bead. Small berry. It's a lucky cowrie shell. This one's got a hole in it, so it would have been hung on something at some point. Maybe like a macrame or something. Although it's a bit late. But so many lucky things today. And where did I see? Where did I see it? Oh, this. Is it going to be just a stone? No, it's not. Oh, it's broken, but that is beautiful. Luckily, if you can hear, there's some water just next to me so I can clean it. Oh, there, first of all, what's that? It's a bit, looks almost furry. Not quite a face, like a rabbit or something. But let's clean this beautiful cabochon. Such a shame it's broken. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. <gasps> oh my goodness. Absolutely love it. I wonder what that's made out of. Is that like a precious stone or is it just glass? Wow, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's beautiful. It's a shame it's broken, but never mind. Oh my gosh, we can make uh -huh. a cartoon creature. Oh, and I found a That's not, it's not, it's a diamond. Oh, is it real? Uh, no. I would hope so. <laughs> um, I found a little blue bead exactly like that. <laughs> nice. Oh, I found this. Can't tell what it's made out of. I mean, this isn't one of the custom ideas I remember. I don't uh -huh. think, I mean it might just be glass, but I think it could be some sort of stone. Uh-huh. Okay. Ooh. That's yeah. yeah. All the, the like the black is what's making me think. Wow. Oh yeah, it's got like a yeah. uh, it doesn't look like glass, does it? It's like agate, but oh. it's like isn't it beautiful? That's stunning. Tiny, tiny blue bead. <laughs> can I pick it up? Yes, I can. Teeny, tiny frosted bottle. So it's broken a bit by the top. But it's, I quite like the frostiness of it. 
the sunshine. Went from, fi went from finding loads of these to have not found one for a while. Well, well, we haven't been mudlocking for a while, it's probably why, but I knew there had to be one somewhere. Can you see it? It's very well disguised. Can you see it? Well, what is it? You can't see it? I don't know. Um... Huh. I think it is what I think it is. Oh yes, oh my gosh, it's right <laughs> in the middle, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a big fat squat, oh, gobby, five stone, knuckle bones. We've got so many of these now. That's quite a nice one though. It's a little flat, fat one. It was right in the middle. <laughs> was disguised. There's this random little thing and a glass button. Clearly a glass button, which is beautiful. Another glass button. Beautiful. Bead. Lovely. Look at that sneaky disguised find. It's absolutely tiny. Oh my goodness. I love it. Let's clean it in the sloshy. stop. Beautiful tiny little stop. These little mosaic pieces are always quite handy for things. Doll's house and otherwise. Is there anything going on this beautiful glass button? Oh yeah. It's pretty. 1920s. Oh, that's a pretty bead. It's like a trifoil. Trifoil? Oh yeah, that might be UV too. Men on the bridge. The willow pattern, possibly. It's a different looking willow pattern there. Well, that's beautiful and glistening. Oh, <laughs> oh that was close. Beautiful red diamond shaped bead. Lovely. You can see the two finds there? Clay bead. Yeah, I'm in the sun. And a collar stud. A foot. Put a shoe on. Adorable and this odd thing that I thought might be good for craft. Now this is a find me and mum actually get really quite excited about because we don't ever find them. And it is a really, really worn bottle stop, a vulcanite stopper, but really worn. They're beautiful when they look like this. And is it an acorn or is it just a mob? It's just a mob. But actually, whilst I'm here. I've spotted, uh oh, I have spotted, is it a bead? No, it doesn't have a hole in, it's just a tiny red blob. That, which would be a great marble for the doll's house. I can see that this one is a bead because I can see the hole. White's Vulcanite machine stopper. But we do already have one of these, so I will leave it. Look at this beautiful broken tile. What is that? What type of vegetable or fruit is that? It's lovely though. What's this one? Ooh, so I think table waters. 
That's one we've not got. Maybe I'll take that one. We'll see. It's a beautiful turquoise clear bead. That's lovely. I'm finding lots of beads in this beautiful colour today. A little cabochon or a broken button. Either way, it's lovely. That looks like it could be exciting or it could be disappointing. Oh no, it's a broken bead. Big green faceted clear one though. That's lovely. Still good for craft though. Beautiful bro orange broken bead. Brilliant for craft. all about turquoise yeah, beads today yeah <laughs> i've got i've got a turquoise bead oh lovely <laughs> that's a very pretty glass button have we found something at the same time <laughs> what did you find i've got a blue glass button lovely. <laughs> a tiny cup oh <gasps> I've got a bottle stop, that's nothing. It's a very nice bottle stop. What did you bend down for? Okay, is that what I think it is? Or is it just, <gasps> okay, and next to it. Okay, oh my gosh, okay. First of all, the thing that I bent down for, is it? <gasps> it is. It's a, it's a terracotta doll's cup. Oh my gosh. Oh my word, a terracotta one. What did you bend down for? This, and then as I bend down, I panned over, and it's the first one of the day. <laughs> Can you see why? So this was here. Wow. And then do you see what I'm looking at? <laughs> um, and what, what, what vicinity? Oh, the arm! Yeah. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! It's a little dimply arm. This is the doll patch. Wow, that have... cup is amazing. Isn't the cup lovely? My bolt stop's it's a like... bit boring. <laughs> I have one exactly like that. I found an identical one <laughs> earlier. <gasps> it's so tiny. It'd be great in the yeah. doll's hospital, apothe apothecary. Oh, that cup is amazing. Isn't That'd it? Do you think it's German? Like German. around the 19, you know, all the... Yeah, terracotta. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> nice. It's a tooth, but is it human? I think it might be a bit dim, dippy for a human tooth. What do you think, Kate? Oh. Yeah, that's a, that's a human tooth. Oh. It's got the plaster. It's like a... a that in prosthetic. Um, oh no, that's horrible. We have so many of these we now. We have a lot of human teeth. We may have to make a whole mouth set. Oh no. <laughs> those things, it's one of those little blue things with the C on it. Did we ever find, really, really know what they were? What? The tiny little round things with glass blue things oh. with C's on them. No, oh, just suggestions that they were like part of cufflinks or personalised. Oh my gosh, really? So we've got RC. Oh. That's beautiful. That's why well, I haven't seen that one, but the last one's beautiful. Huh. It's C for caboodlers. They just need a K.
I think you'll be able to spot it from a mile away. Yes, I do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, another little chubby arm. Really is blue bead day, and all this they're all this same really vibrant blue colour. I love them. Is that something or is it nothing? That it looks like a body of a chicken or something. What is it? Is it just a crazy button? Oh look, there's another human tooth. <laughs> I think it's a... Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes, there is. That one's in much better condition than the other one. Oh my, we're really getting quite <laughs> close to... Um... We need some of the... Oh no, we've got some like the normal teeth, front we teeth, do. haven't we? I don't know if this is like a Niagara... I'm going to take it home like this. Yeah, don't break it here. It's full of tiny little beads too, so I think it's part of a Niger necklace. <sighs> With the tiny... <gasps> oh, <gasps> it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's got all the seed beads, so I think that's part oh, of a Niger necklace. It's yeah, like what was it? Owl or it's, <gasps> like, it's almost like it's got eyes, doesn't it? But it might not, but... Wow, okay, yeah, that's very cool. You should see if there's any more around. Oh, I'm fondling the tooth. It's oh. not <laughs> Toothbrush, lovely. It's an animal's paw, leg, and paw. A for Adams. Oh, oh good night. Two strange objects there. What's this? I'm not sure what that would have been. It's beautiful though. Like a decan uh, bottle stop, and then this weird little knobbly, it's like a piece of coral but made of pottery. It's very odd. That's some handle. Post medieval, maybe? I don't know. This is. It's a bit older than the normal stuff here. <clears throat> it's a shame that's broken. Imagine it's like a pillar off a wedding cake. I'm sure they'll do something with that. Craft. <gasps> Maybe we can't get in the doll's house somehow. It's the bottom of a bottle, but look. It's like a sea creature. <laughs> look at the sun behind it. It's a sea creature. It's just the bottom of a bottle, but it... Ah, is it Gordon's? I think that's the dragon's from Gordon's. What is that round thing? Oh, I think it's a cabochon, a jewel. A beige jewel, okay, I like that. <laughs> Kate loves beige. What a another <laughs> turquoise bead. They're only finding beads this color and this sort of size. Like a whole necklace. Yeah, I really can. I might. <laughs> it's another one of those end of a, a hat pin. <gasps> oh, it's got a beautiful ombre effect, like my other, like my other thing I found today. Just as we've been trying to show each other our things, look at what Mum has noticed. <laughs> it's another human tooth. That is another oh, look at that cavity. Oh. I won't show that too close. I'm sorry yeah. if viewers don't. I mean, know some of you don't are a bit squeamish about the teeth, and now that's three in one <laughs> film. <laughs> but look, there's a, a beige Casbajon. You Ooh, love beige. I do love beige. <laughs> Lovely. And then, yeah, look. I just found one of these ends of hat pins. Wait, and look at the ombre when it's. I love to varnish it. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it like the thing I found earlier? Yeah. That's what it is, isn't it? It's the end of a hat yeah, pin. Yeah. 
Do you think it's another arm? Oh, it could be a leg. I'm not sure. Hey, look, it's kind of buried. I hope it's not broken. Oh, that's an arm. Oh, it is a broken. It's huge. Oh my god. Look at the wrist. Look at the hand. Wow. <laughs> the oh my goodness. Three arms. Yes. That was definitely serendipity. I had to stop because my leg hurt. And look, it's another jewel. <laughs> Chandelier drop, but bead, bead. Chandelier drop. Beautiful, whatever. White bead. Hopefully we can get the stones out the middle. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like a piece of Kate's tile that she found with the unidentified fruit. That was a trip back to Treasure Beach. We love Treasure Beach. Treasure Beach never disappoints. <laughs> and it didn't disappoint this time. So we've split the film into two because I think, yeah, there would have been too much. <laughs> it was too much. It was so a very like a, long film. Yeah, it, you, you, everyone would have got fed up with mud barking. So, yeah, so the, the second part is next week. So we're not doing the full roundup this week. We're just choosing some of our favourites out this half. Um, so, what was your favourite of the favourites? Definitely my 1920s agate pendant. Which, I, yeah, I think I knew I wanted to say agate in the film, but because we're not very sure, I didn't want to. But then we got home and I looked up 1920s agate pendants and that's exactly, that's exactly what it is. And it is beautiful. It's such a shame it's broken. But you have a plan, don't you? On how to I do have a plan, yeah. I'm going to make it into um, a necklace. And it's so smooth. And I have an idea of what to do with the broken bit. You could actually film that. <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely beautiful. It's one of my most favourite cabochon that I've found. Yeah, well, it's, a proper, it's a real gem. The banding goes from like white at the bottom. Yeah, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. And all of the lucky items I was finding in the bird poo paid off because I found that immediately after finding the cowrie cow shell. shell. Yeah. Lucky cowrie shell. My lucky broken echinoid fossil which would have looked like this one that we found when it was complete, obviously a lot larger. We've made a film about these and about their history as fairy loaves and pixie things, so we'll leave a link in the description for that film. What is your favourite of these ones? My eye. <laughs> yeah. I find a lot of eyes. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. Um, and I found this one previously. I found this one previously. So now we have, I mean, they're like cartoon eyes. And we think we know what sort of stuffed animal they may have been on. Mm -hmm. And we are going to re recreate, as we always find pairs of eyes. Because when we find pairs of eyes, even if they're odd eyes, we build creatures. And this is wonky and it was like Popeye? Popeye. Popeye. Wonky and Popeye. So there'll be a new creature coming soon. I think we're going to do that in a Mudmus film, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, it's going to be a Mudmus film. You're not going to say what we're making? Uh, oh god, no. We're going to attempt to make a Felix the Cat toy because that's what um, the 20s, that's probably what an eye like this would have come off. We'll show you pictures when we make it, but yeah. Hopefully we'll be making a Felix the Cat. <laughs> and these are the, some of the other eyes we found. Yeah, I just thought we'd... Found 
Absolutely. Mum found this eye, and I found this eye, and then I, yeah, I think I found the broken one on Wonky, and I think Mum found the rest. It's odd, isn't it? <laughs> Parts. Mm -hmm. It's always good to find arms. And they're all um, China body arms this week. They all would have been attached. Where's a? Uh, so we've got. So we've got ones like this, which was gifted to us, which is wonderful. Ones that we've made and found. So yeah, these arms will be used. Maybe I could replace Dewey's arms then, because he's got sticky out arms. When he he does have sticky, sticky out arms. arms. You can probably, I mean, I don't know, you know, like that one would. That one's big enough, isn't it? Oh, the mm -hmm. other, that's the big one. I think that's too big. Is that too big? Yeah, <laughs> <Maybe> <laughs> I have to have a think one. about it. But yeah, dolls like this It's what these arms would have come off. Again, talking of dolls, my second favourite is my lovely little terracotta dolls cup and it looks like it's got the remnants of glaze on the bottom so I don't know if it would have been glazed or not it's still glazed but it's lovely it's a little teacup and it will be going in the doll's house we don't we have a, a shelf we do cups we have <laughs> we don't have a um a terracotta one do we no so here is our collection of Niger brother beads and um, I found this one in this film, which I have not attempted to extract yet because we have had, I've had, yeah, had a very busy week. So I apologise for that and I want to do it properly and mm -hmm. carefully. But I think that's another tiny little black bead on there and there's remnants of black and white seed beads. So I think this is all part of a necklace. A necklace. Which is crazy, you should record that. Well, you are recording it, mm -hmm. but yeah. So yeah, I have to Does really like carefully. Chicken, like it, I don't know what it is. I don't know, but I'm excited to try and get it out. So the roundup, the main roundup next week, hopefully, I'll have managed to extract it. It's very exciting. Very exciting. We've taken all our beads off our bead strings because we have plans for mudmas. Mm hmm. So yeah, um, my lovely ombre hat pin, which I haven't varnished yet, so can't show you. <laughs> so, and the blue one mum's found at this same beach as these types of hat pins, little twirly bits. And our teeth, our human teeth collection. So we never quite know how to feel about finding teeth. Most of them are um, implants. Oh no, it's just this one is an implant this week. But like this one has a little plaster. But these ones still have the roots. The roots, which is I don't quite know how to feel about. That. No. Yeah, we don't. You know. It's it's difficult because you know. I know. I don't, people. It, I know it is odd though, but I don't feel like it feels a bit disrespectful to leave them there. Oh yeah, good, 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 goodness no. Yeah, but like you know, we never crafted them or anything. No. It's just. Uh, I mean, I like the, the veneers. I mean, I don't mind the veneers so much. Weirdly. Yeah, I think it's when they still have the complete root. Mm. Is you know. How did that end up on a in a, a this one might dump. be a pig, but it does look a bit different actually. It does, yeah. So that one might be a pig tooth. So these are probably all human teeth because that's different and it's a pig. So yeah, we just gather them together, and you know, I, mm. I don't know. I don't no. know what we're going. I don't know what plan. Just yeah. Not to be left in a in a yeah. rubbish dump, I yeah. think, really. So Mum does have a theory of why there are so many teeth on this beach. 
and it's a bit morbid and sad. But what did you find out? Well, I think I did, unless I dreamt it. But I thought I heard that someone said that they used to... Because they dumped rubbish along this coast and they used to dig up graves from churchyards and things when they wanted to build over the top of them and they dumped the bodies along the coast along with the rubbish. Which is just horrendous. I know. And absolutely awful. Mm -hmm. So if that is where these teeth come from, I don't want to leave them there. No. Where they were just dumped. There's not a lot of bones though, is there? No. I mean, or, or alternately, that might have... I think that's what I heard, but I might have dreamt that. Alternately, they just fell out and people put them in the bin. Yeah, but teeth don't tend to fall out with a whole complete root. Or they were pulled out by dentists. Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Let's be cheery. Yeah. <laughs> so, we hope you enjoyed that trip. The next half will be up next Thursday. And we hope you all have a wonderful rest of the week. And we did find something very exciting. Oh, we did find a bucket list find, we yes. did, yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, wait, can't wait to see you there. And we just have to say a massive thank you to all of our wonderful Patreons, our Kofi donors, everyone that likes, comments and subscribes. So we will see you next Thursday. Bye! <laughs>